what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? There's a video out of a police officer pulling two black men over in a Mercedes Benz. As soon as they're pulled over, the guys are like, oh my God, we didn't even do nothing. Cop walks up to the door and he's like, dude is like, man, what you pulling me over for? We didn't even do anything. He's like, the reason I pull you over is because your vehicle matches the description of a vehicle that was involved in the shooting earlier today. This is the shit black men all over this country have to go through every single day. That's besides everyday living. Getting up, going to work, being tired or sick, dealing with your woman, your children, your relationships, that you have with family, friends. The police roam the streets and they target, they profile. They're looking to lock black men up. They're looking to lock up black boys. They're profiling. They're not on the streets to protect and serve. They're on the streets to harass and brutalize. This is what they do. Okay, yeah, they write a lot of tickets, but even when they write tickets, they're not writing tickets to keep the public safe. They're writing tickets to meet quotas to pay their bills, to pay their salaries. The police departments around America has been incentivized to write tickets. They're writing tickets to get paid. It's a profit in it. This is why they're so aggressive with writing tickets. It's sad, fam. And the thing about it is like once the government, the city, figure out a hustle, it's hard for them to fall back on that hustle because they'd have to replace it with another hustle. So that's why they're always coming up with new laws because sometimes the people get fed up and they have to get rid of one, but they'll replace it with something else. And they're always taking the shortcut, never building, never like really taking their time to do critical thinking, putting all of the brilliant people in the city together, putting their minds together to come up with like good solutions, you know, sensible solutions that work to improve the community, to improve the city. They don't do that. They take the shortcut. They just cut off something that, you know, they'll cut off community services, you know, family services, social services, and they'll divert the money somewhere else, oftentimes to their pockets. It's sad, fam. These dudes is minding their own business. This dude said the Mercedes Benz looks like a vehicle that was involved in a shooting earlier that day. Dude was like, man, I just bought this vehicle. Don't nobody do no damn drive-bys and Mercedes, brand new Mercedes Benzes. And he's right. Nobody does drive-bys and no damn Mercedes Benzes, brand new Mercedes. In fact, I don't even see people doing or never even known of anybody to do a drive-by in any kind of Mercedes Benz. It's just not the type of car you do a drive-by in. Profiling. And then when dude called him on it, he immediately took off. He was like, hey, have a nice day. 
Dude jumped out the car. Nah, man, what's your name? I got your badge number. What's your name? Then he finally gave his name and he took off. Why do we have to go through this stuff, man? You got to be diligent. Don't let them push you around, fam. Now, I know some people that watch the video is probably scared to death. Oh, they're going to shoot him. He's going to do this. He's going to do this, fam. You got to stand up for yourself. They could have took the L and just sat there and just let the dude harass him, then go on about their business. But damn, man, sometimes, man, you can't help but respond. You know, you would think that, you know, you'll keep you cool. You try to keep you cool. And, but sometimes, man, that shit just get on your nerve, man. It gets under your skin. Sometimes, man, just like they snap, shit, we snap. I'm glad dudes didn't get hurt, but damn, man. All day, every day, this is what they do. They just sit around. Now, if you commit a traffic infraction, they'll get you. But if you don't commit one, they just get you because they don't like what you look like. They don't like who's occupying the car. Their asses should be arrested for that. Defund the police. That's what I'm talking about. I'm with it. That's the only way to stop them. Well, there's other ways, but you didn't hear it from me. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.